Miniverse, part two. What's up, doll collectors, hobbyist, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my Miniverse, where we are taking a look at MGA's Miniverse again. You see, what happened was I originally planned on putting it all in one video, but then I ran out of time, so now there's two. In the first video, we took a look at the Make It Mini Kitchen, where I had a difficult time opening the drawers. Mine didn't open, but in the comments, you all said these drawers are supposed to open. So we're gonna give it a try, again. And we're gonna do it before I touch up my nail polish. So here we go. It is not moving. I looked at the back of the box again and the picture does show that they can open. Come on. This one doesn't even budge. This one shakes, so you would think it would come out, right? This comment says use two hands. All right, but it's not gonna work. Oh, <gasps> it worked. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. See, that's why we have y'all keeping me in check, right? What about this one? Two hands. I'm gonna break a nail. There we go. We got it. This one even has dividers for utensils. Okay, so that's good to know. Thank you to everyone in the comments for helping me out. I picked up this Make It Mini Food at Target for $9.99. Personally, I think that's a little on the pricey side, but that's just me. Because we only get like one meal that we have to make ourselves. Also, Toya pays 20 plus dollars for seasonal minis on Etsy. Toya Logic. And I still bought like four of these. So, yeah. This is Diner Series 2. There are 24 recipes. And this is a product that includes resin. It's right here in this bag. And it's a surprise toy. Inside the capsule, we find a small table that we can assemble, paper packages, a little recipe booklet showing all the different minis that you can and can't find. There are a lot that are kind of uh, grayed out. There are more instructions on the back and we could totally use some of these as little mini posters. There are instructions that say how to play with resin, how to make it, set it, and what to do when you're done. It says to set any excess resin in bottle. Leave bottle open and place in direct sunlight for at least five minutes to set. Do not pour in drain. We have a small paper doily. Now let's open the bags. The first one has a spoon, tweezers, and a little bead or knob for the top of the capsule. In the next bag, we have Looks like those little wafer roll things, I think. Yeah, my knowledge when it comes to sweets is pretty lacking. We have a box that says Sunny Bites, one waffle bowl. Yeah! We made a waffle bowl a little while back out of air dry clay, which was a lot of fun to make, but I am still going to enjoy this one. And I think it's the perfect size for our dolls. In the next bag, we have, ooh, strawberries. It's a little container of sliced strawberries. And the last one is strawberry ice cream. Okay, so I do love how we can open the little containers and there is doll-sized food inside. There are four scoops of strawberry ice cream. And here is our bottle of resin. It's berry syrup. So it looks like we got the strawberry sundae. Now I choose not to use the resin with my minis. Instead, I use a washable marker on some clear plastic, mix it with a little gloss Mod Podge, then place some of the mixture inside the waffle cone, add the ice cream, add a little more of the glue mixture to hold all of them together. Then we're gonna just kind of drizzle it on top, or at least make it look like we drizzled it. Add the strawberries. Um, is that too many strawberries? Oh well, the more the merrier, right? 
Then we add those little wafer straws right into the glue to make our Make It Mini Strawberry Sundae. Now we just need to allow this to sit and dry. And I still have leftovers. So I guess we are getting more than just one dish. My thumbnail broke and I had to cut off all my nails. But now they're kind of purple. And it's the next day, so our Sunday is dry. The Mod Podge is doing a good job of keeping everything in place. And I think it can totally pass as strawberry syrup. So in one capsule, I got miniature food, miniature ice cream, miniature strawberries, these little wafer things, and a box. Plus a little table and a spoon. And all the containers open and have minis inside. Well, except for that one, because we took it out to make that one. And the table, well, it's a little under scale for my dollhouse. However, it works as a cake stand for a smart doll. And it kind of looks like the base of a chair. If we just flip it over, we can take the lid from the capsule and glue it on to make a chair. However, I don't love the little knob. We can remove it, but we will end up with a small hole in the back of the chair. Here is a doll in the chair. I think it's kind of low to the ground, but I think it might work. It is actually about the same height as this Barbie chair. But I really like the idea of reusing the capsule. And if you want it to be all white, you can use one from many brands. What I'm going to do is remove the base, flip it over, glue it to the top of the table, glue on a mini brands capsule because it is slightly larger. Cut a circle of recycled cardboard, cover with felt and fabric to make a cushion, then glue it into the capsule for another way to make the chair. And I actually like this way better because it was a lot easier. And we were able to make the chair all white with a little splash of color. Yeah! Let's open another one. And I'm not even gonna say what I'm looking for. Pizza. I'm just gonna enjoy whatever I get. Pizza. Here's our paper doily and table. We got a spoon and a little cake stand. So I take it it's not a pizza. It is a cake. It says sponge cake. There's a little jar of cherries with tiny cherries inside. Pineapple slices. How cute are those? I don't want to use them. I just want to keep them. And there's a little bottle of golden syrup resin. It looks like we're making the pineapple upside down cake. So I'm using a golden brown marker and I'm adding a little bit of a darker brown. They're Crayola markers and they look like this. Mix in a little gloss Mod Podge. I place the doily on the cake stand, then add the cake followed by the glue and marker mixture. We're just gonna put this all over the top of the cake and hope that we made enough. Make some kinda drizzle down the side a little. Add the pineapples to the glue. I'm gonna try to go with five cause that's what I see in the picture. Oh wait, the recipe has six, but I'm gonna stick with five. That way I get to keep three loose pineapple slices. I add a little more glue to the centers, then add the cherries. There we go. That was probably too much glue. Will they fit without the glue? Now see, that one doesn't fit. All right, we need the glue. <gasps> no! I guess they'll just be a cherry in the center. Yep, we're gonna leave that one. Then add more cherries to the centers of the pineapple slices and wait for it to dry. And don't forget, we can put a little leftover glue on the edge of the spoon and add a cherry. While those are drying off to the side, we're gonna open a third one. And it's pizza. I'm just gonna claim it now. I'm not even crazy about pizza. I just wanna see what it looks like. Here's our table and doily. I think it might be another cake. Uh, oh, yay! I was about to be disappointed, but I think it's the birthday cake, which I am totally cool with. It's a little two-tier vanilla cake. Awesome! And the packaging is just adorable. Look at the details on that edge. Here's the cake topper. 
a cake server and tweezers. This is some frosting or icing rings and a cake stand. Ooh, it's a pretty nice cake stand and resin glaze with a nozzle. I can already tell once this cake is put together, we're not gonna have a lot of leftovers, but let's put it on the cake stand. I mix a little pink paint and Mod Podge. I'm not sure if that's the right color, but we're gonna go with it. And we're gonna start with the bottom layer or tier and add a few drips just going down the side. Then I very carefully add the first layer of icing rings. Yes, we did it. Add more frosting to the top. All right, so I've already dropped this cake twice and had to rinse it off and start over. <laughs> Good thing I'm using Mod Podge, which does wash off. Let's add the icing on top. Oh, this makes me so nervous. I don't want to start over again. Then the cake topper. All right, I think we did it. Let it dry. Yep, that's icing on the floor. Here is our fourth capsule and my last chance to find pizza. I mean, make minis. We haven't gotten any doubles yet, so that's good. And this is another cake, a ladyfinger cake. There are little ladyfingers going all the way around the sides. And it looks like it's dusted with a little glitter. We have chocolate curls, a doily, another cake server, but this one is shaped different. It's shorter than the one that comes with the birthday cake. And the birthday cake one has a little serrated edge. Y'all, it is all in the details. This is a ribbon and this is a cake stand. It's a different one. I love that we're getting some variety. And this is coffee resin, so I guess we're making tiramisu. Place the doily and the cake on the cake stand. Make a coffee glaze using brown marker and Mod Podge. You could also use brown paint. I add it to the top of the cake. I'm pretty generous with the glue since the cake has a nice little well. I hope that dries to the right color. Then begin adding those chocolate curls right into the glue. And I'm adding as many as I can to try and cover up the glue. Now we can let it dry. While waiting, I made more chairs. Let's take one of the chairs and paint a black line around the edge to help them blend in with our kitchen a little better. I cut two circles of foam board and a base, use a marker to draw those black lines, glue the base between the circles. I added a little foam board in the back for support to add a table and chair set to our room. Our cakes are now dry, so we can add the ribbon onto the tiramisu and our dolls can enjoy a whole bunch of desserts because I never found the pizza. I do wish we had a few more savory dishes, but there's always hope for next time. So even though I don't use the resin, I think these are a lot of fun. I love that the containers have minis inside and I get real happy when there are leftovers. And since not all the treats can go back into their packaging, I just place a Barbie cake inside so they're not empty and we can still place them on the shelf. Hmm, we're gonna need more shelf space. I guess a larger refrigerator is on the to-do list. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Make It Mini Food Series 2. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff, and we will see you next time.